Morning, everyone. Um, I know I'm missing school. I know I also need a haircut. I imagine some of you are missing school and some of you might even need a haircut. So I thought I'd come on here and read you a story. So the book I've chosen is Roald Dahl's Revolting Rhymes. Um, and it takes lots of traditional tales and puts them into funny rhymes. So I'm going to read Little Red Riding Hood to you today. So there's a picture. Poor Grandmama was terrified. He's going to eat me up, she cried. And she was absolutely right. He ate her up in one big bite. But Grandmama was small and tough. And Wolfie said, that's not enough. I haven't yet begun to feel that I have had a decent meal. He ran around the kitchen yelping, I've got to have another helping. Then added with a frightful leer, I'm therefore going to wait right here till little Miss Riding Red, Red Riding Hood comes in from walking in the wood. He quickly put on Grandma's clothes. Of course, he hadn't eaten those. And there he is, wearing Grandma's clothes. He dressed himself in coat and hat. He put on shoes, and after that, he even brushed and curled his hair, then sat himself in Grandma's chair. In came a little girl in red. She stopped, she stared, and then she said, There's a picture of Little Red Riding Hood. What great big ears you have, Grandma. All the better to hear you with, the wolf replied. What great big eyes you have, Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to see you with, the wolf replied. He sat there watching her and smiled. He thought, I'm going to eat this child. Compared with her old Grandmama, she's going to taste like caviar. Then Little Red Riding Hood said, But Grandma, what a big, lovely, great big furry coat you have on. That's wrong, cried Wolf. Have you forgot to tell me what big teeth I've got? Ah, well, no matter what you say, I'm going to eat you anyway. The small girl smiles. One eyelid flickers. She whips a pistol from her knickers. She aims it at the creature's head. And bang, 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 she shoots him dead. A few weeks later, in the wood, I came across Miss Riding Hood. But what a change, no cloak of red, no silly hood upon her head. She said, hello, and please do note my lovely furry wolfskin coat. And there she is at the end, wearing a wolfskin coat. So this book, I think it's brilliant for, well, for all children, but particularly, um, I would say year three, four, five and six. It's got some great rhymes in there. I think a lot of them are available on the internet, so I might try and post a link to that as well. But I hope you're all right. Stay safe and take care. Bye.